The emperor of Paris has sent his soldiers to negotiate with the Vikings, offering a treasure of gold in hopes they will leave. They agreed that if they are given the treasure, they will not raid. Their king, Ragnar Lothbrok, is very ill. Rollo, his brother, comes to tell him the news. Ragnar had turned into a Christian, but his people believe in Odin and expect to go to Valhalla when they die. Floki, Ragnar's friend, and a strong believer in Odin, tells Rollo that the gods are punishing Ragnar for abandoning them and believing in the Christian god. People start to talk, saying that a Christian king cannot rule them. At night, Ragnar calls his son Bjorn to speak with him. He tells him that soon he will be king and should lead with his head, not his heart. He asks him to do something for him, as he trusts no one else. Rollo is looking over Paris and remembers what Odin had told him, that he will be king and richer than Ragnar. A month passes, and Bjorn informs him that Ragnar is sick and cannot move. The general asks if he can see him, and Bjorn allows it. Ragnar's last wish is to be given a Christian burial, or else they will not leave. The general agrees and then goes back. Ragnar holds his son's hand, hoping for the best. After a few days, he passes away, catching people by surprise. They get in one after another to pay their last respect. Lagertha is the first to go in, she was Ragnar's first wife, and they separated when Ragnar married a second wife. Rollo comes in next and offers his respect. The last person is Floki. Floki loved Ragnar more than anyone. In the moment of paying his respect, he reveals that he is the one who killed Athelstan, Ragnar's best friend. Just as he wishes, he is taken to the city. The gates open, and an unarmed man carries Ragnar's body to the church, where the priests start to pray for him. Suddenly, the coffin opens, shocking everyone who thinks they are seeing a ghost. He steps out, carrying a knife, then confronts the king. His men take swords they had hidden in the boat. He kills the priest, sending a message to everyone. He then takes the princess hostage and walks with her to the gates. His men open the gate for the other Vikings. Ragnar lets the princess run. The Vikings enter and raid the city. Lagertha, Rollo, Floki, and other men question why Bjorn did not trust them with the plan. He, he tells them that's how Ragnar wanted. They decide to go back home the next day, but some people will stay to safeguard the place for their next raid in spring. Rollo offers to remain behind. The crew goes back home as Rollo remains. News reaches the king that a great warrior named Rollo has stayed and plans to raid in spring. He tells the princess that she will have to marry Rollo so that he can help protect Paris from his brother. The princess tries to disagree, but he forces her. On the other hand, Rollo agrees to betray his brother and marry the princess. On the way back home, Ragnar calls Floki and tells him that he knows he killed Athelstan.